Look at this, a fully functional prompts library dashboard that stores all my AI prompts and the images they generated. Professional, organized, and I built it in just minutes without writing a single line of code. Here's the thing. As a designer who works with AI tools daily, I generate dozens of prompts every week. Midjourney, ChatGPT, Flux, Nano Banana, you name it. But I was constantly losing track of what from created which design. My notes were all over the place. Google Docs, screenshots, random text files. It was really a mess. So I thought, what if I could build a dashboard that keeps everything in one place? My prompts, the generated images, maybe even tags and categories. But here's the problem. I'm a designer, not a developer. That's where I found uword.com. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I built this prompts library from scratch, step by step, without writing a single line of code. And trust me, if I can do this, anyone can. We will go from a simple idea to a fully developed web app with a URL that you can access from anywhere. So let's jump in. So let's go to uword.com. I'll leave a link in the description so that it will take you directly to the dashboard. You will find a similar interface once you click on it. By the way, uword.com, you can register for free and you get daily free credits that you can use on the platform. So on the left side, you can see your main menu. On the home screen, you get to see this box in front of you. This is where you need to enter your prompt. As you can see, you can build a landing page, a dashboard or a Figma to website. So again, the idea that is in my head is to have a place to collect all my AI prompts. So I'm going to tell it to build a responsive web-based prompt library dashboard for personal and professional use. And this is the prompt that I'm using. And even if you don't know how to write a detailed prompt, you can use any AI tool like ChatGPT, for example, and ask it to write a professional prompt for you. You can also select between different AI platforms on newware that is going to build the the platform for you if you don't know what to use just leave it on auto and then press on the arrow once you do that you get to see you get to see it working on the left side and it starts to generate the platform based on your prompt and it's not only your prompt that works actually it it starts to to install packages analyze files and do many tasks that i don't know anything about it's i don't care what it is doing actually i'm not a developer and i don't understand any of that all what i care about is the final result so even if the result has some errors the good thing about the uword.com is that it fixes its own errors automatically so you don't need to tell it what errors was created just leave it and press on the auto fix errors and the errors will be fixed so as you can see it starts to do some coding editing some files and after about three minutes i get the dashboard the prompt library with no prompts on it so looks nice but without prompts you cannot really tell if it works or not so i'm going to upload some of the documents that i have on my desktop that has some prompts so i'm just going to upload this th pdf which has 31 ideogram prompts and i'm going to write add the prompts in the attached file and the sample images if possible so i'm i don't want to enter each prompt manually so i'm going to test it if it can add all the prompts in the attached pdf file to the dashboard that it that it created so that I can see how the library work and again it starts to analyze the PDF and the file so you the way it works is that you are chatting with it as if you are having your own developer by your hand by your side so after it finished I did not see the prompts edited so I I wrote I cannot see the 31 prompts inside the library and it, it replied by adding a load button by adding a load button to the dashboard and I'm I'm going to press on it and once i press on it i started to see all the prompts in the sheet added to the prompt library organized with the image or the generated image of each one added automatically to the result so let's press on this collapse sidebar to see it in full screen and this is how the first draft looks which is quite interesting this is what i was looking for a place or a library to store all the prompts automatically showing the prompt text the 
platform that it was generated on or, or the platform to use it on like ideogram in this case the type of the prompt uh, this is for a design or for something else and the image and you can also i can export all the prompts as an excel sheet so if we open the excel sheet together we can see the text of the prompt and the url of the image so this your this url if you uh, if you place it on your browser it's going to show you the generated image so this is quite amazing just by writing a prompt but i want to take it for further by fixing and enhancing the layout so you can also press on the this arrow above and edit any specific port manually so you can hover over any port and it's gonna going to show you what changes that you can do so let's change this background color for example to something like gray and we can also change this export button color to this degree of light blue and even the text itself we can just select it and change its color to white like so so any part of your project can be changed manually and once you you're finished you can press on the save it save button to save the edits this is how simple the platform is no coding required nothing no programming expertise is needed just with simple promptings now let's take it a step further and i'm going to write add a stylish look to to the library and bold typography i've also noticed that there are some empty lines or empty spaces within each prompt itself so i don't want that so i'm going to ask it to eliminate the line spaces in each prompt and increase the size of the image i want to see it bigger so increase the size of the window dedicated for the prompt image to make the result more visible and then press on the generate button and here is the result it worked it clearly worked on the typography now we can see that the text is bold the images are bigger the image window and the text looks nice and smooth so let's make it full screen the prompt library looks perfect now and it removed the spaces most of the spaces of each prompt and you can also search for any prompt by entering a keyword so let's write send for example and here i get the prompt with the word send and the library looks organized and professional way again so let's press on the arrow and change the background color to black i'm doing this manually again using the upper arrow and let's also change this text to white like so and change the background color to black like so now let's test entering a new prompt manually so i'm going to press on the new prompt button and this will open or add a new column so i'm going to paste my prompt and choose the type a design and upload the image for this prompt like so and this is how i can add a new prompt to the library there is also this auto boost feature on the platform that you can use to boost the project in terms of layout or features without even writing a full prompt you can press on it and this shows you a couple of options you can enha enhance the visual design the overall ui or the imp improved the animations and transitions of the platform once you press on the boost button so i'm going to write design visuals and user interface so basically i'm asking it to boost the design the visuals and the user interface and press on the generate and again it is going to work on as you can read i'm processing your request to redesign the project according to the specific guidelines with a focus on design visuals and user interface and after a couple of minutes we get to see the result as we can see it even changed the the style of the library see? the colors of the background and of the buttons so of course some of the prompts they don't have images because i inserted new prompts without images but the overall interface is different now and let's say the changes are okay but i would like to revert back to the previous version so to do that simply press on the rewind button as you can see this task the credits used for en enhancing the layout and the components are 73 credits so let's assume i would like to go back to the previous version without applying the changes so to do that just press on the rewind button and this will ask you to rewind to the previous uh, previous version and that your 73 credits will be restored and you can press on the rewind button 
button to go back to the previous version and get the, the credits back so you never lose credits if you don't like the the result now to publish our project just press on the publish button above and this will show you this menu where you can publish the project and add a custom domain and make it private or hide the UR badge once you publish it or hide it from the community but some of these features require a pro version as you can see so let's press on the publish button I, ha I have a pro account so let me show you how it's going to look like once I press publish without changing any of these settings you can also press on the domain tab and add your custom domain or change the base domain provided by you where so I'm going to change it to prompt library and press save and and press save and now once it is published this the base domain is going to be the main domain that i can use to access my prompt library and i will leave it in the description so that you can access it yourself and use it for your own benefits and add your own prompts to the library so once you publish it this is going to be the project domain so you can simply copy it and paste it on another browser to see how it looks like and you can always add use this domain to access your library now let me show you some of the projects published on the platform through the mobile version you can download the uware.com on your app and press on the explore button to see some of the projects created by other users so for example i like this project i'm going to press on it and it's go it's about turning your selfie as a bathroom selfie with iphone press on the get start upload your own photo so i have chosen a photo from my mobile phone and then i'm going to press on generate and within a couple of seconds i get my photo turned as a bathroom selfie with iPhone and I'm going to search for another project this vector image vector project so it may turns any image or transforms any image to vector so I'm going to upload this hoodie image and press on the analyze I'm just testing the platforms or the projects of other people created on the uware.com using my mobile version and here are the settings of the application you can play with it of course i just need to change it and follow the instructions and i'm going to press on convert to vector and here i get to see the final image again i'm just showing you some of the sample projects that you can create even if you're not a designer and voila this is a great vector image of the hoodie that i have uploaded and you can download it in different files so that was a quick tutorial on how you can use the uware.com platform to design or create some platforms dashboards or websites without knowing a single line of code so if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe for other tutorials i'm going to leave a link in the description that will take you directly to uware.com thanks for watching